What's up YouTube, Steven Asalanga here. So today we are making over this mannequin by creating a faux hawk, right? A really cool faux hawk uh, on this mannequin. So I'm ready to go, let's do it. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a number five guard and I'm going to extend the five guard throughout the sides and also the back, right? I'm just gonna go straight up like this to get rid of a lot of this bulk right in through this area all the way around the head and then we'll move into probably going up with um, raising the level the lever on this then probably going to a number six guard and doing a lot by hand but we'll come back when i'm done right in through here All right, so now we're gonna work on to the next phase of the haircut, which is going to be doing scissor over comb from this point up and through the top here. And take note that I left these corners a bit longer in through here so I can blend them in and cut them by hand. If I were to take the clipper and go way up in through here and cut all this off, well, I may be cutting off too much hair that I actually need to work into the shape. So you wanna be careful that you're not cutting these corners in through here too short because it may be just too late and you might need them um, for the rest of the haircut. So now, watch me do scissor over comb, we'll speed through it, and then we'll transition into the top. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray down the head because the hair is starting to lay a little bit differently because um, I hadn't washed it and it was laying with a bunch of other mannequin heads over it. So it's got some um, creases in the hair. So what I wanna do is I wanna wet this and start to really work this shape in and the layers into here so that we can make this kind of work it into the style into here. So again, follow along with me as I cut this. I'm going to continue to kind of follow the head shape in through this area and th right into here. And you know, I wanna make sure this is the shortest point, point and that it's working up going shorter to longer and that this will be kind of the longest point right in through here. But a lot of times the faux hawk is really how you style it. Um, you know, this could be easily a regular kind of, you know, fun, cute, short pixie haircut. But what I wanna do is really cut it so that it's gonna be able to stick up like this um, and represent kind of the, the style that we're going for. All right, Taylor, and don't show me spraying down too much, literally like two seconds or three seconds. I don't want to be, I don't want to see, you know, 15 seconds of me spraying just because it's, we don't need it. So just a few seconds of anything of me spraying like I was talking. So here's the key to cutting the top of the hair for this haircut is that you need to cut it short enough that this will be able to almost stick up on its own and very easy to work into shape. If the hair is too long for a style like this, all it's gonna do is just fall down flat. So you need to make sure that you're cutting the top short enough. Now, you don't wanna cut it shorter than the sides, but you wanna make sure that if it is relatively short and you need to go back in and cut this and blend it, then go ahead and do that. It's better that this be short enough that it supports the style than having it too long. All right, now that the top is done right here, I'm going to work in through the corners. So I always like to go top corners and blend it in through the sides. What I'm doing now is I'm going back over to ensure that there's a proper blend going from shorter into this transition right into the corners and that it, so it all works right into the top here perfectly. I'm following the head shape. You, you don't want to have this part longer than this and I'm going to do the same thing on this side just to make sure it's all balanced and then we'll start the texturizing process after that. All 
All right, so I'm just going to cut this a little bit shorter here, but I'm going to then blow dry it into the style because then I can go in and tweak it and work it into the shape. You don't want to cut this too short. You always want to make sure that this is the longest point right into the very, very front, okay? Just do not, whatever you do, don't cut it like this. <laughs> You'll be thanking me later. So I'm just going to do a little, put a point cutting right through here and then we'll blow dry it. All right, so this is actually perfect. I could not ask for a better shape right through here. We have this longer. It's really exactly what I was looking for. Now we're gonna add some texture to it. What I'm doing is some point cutting. You wanna be very, very careful uh, if you're not experienced doing this, but really what I'm doing is I'm freehanding by just chipping into the ends or the mid shaft of the hair. I'm not going down to the scalp uh, because I don't want to thin out the hair from the scalp. I wanna create texture where it lives right into here. Okay, and you can do it that way or you can twist the hair and do little chomps this way. Because I'm just so experienced doing this, I can freehand it, all right? It's a lot easier for me. But really what this is doing, it's creating little textured shorter pieces mixed in with the longer pieces so that it'll help support that style. And as you can see what's happening just from me doing this, it's actually allowing the hair to stick up and create its own support, which is really, really cool. And that's what we're looking to do. Look at that. See, just by my, me doing that with my hands, it's made a big difference. I'm gonna now go over with the thinning shears right into here, just in certain areas. So in case I feel it's a little bit heavy. Again, this is all done by hand like this. Is the only way you really can do this is freehanding on dry hair. You cannot, and I repeat, you cannot do this and achieve this similar look on wet hair. If someone tells you that, then, you know, challenge them because this is the best way to texture hair is when it's fully dry and almost finished. All right, so now that this is done, what product are we gonna use? I'm gonna use my talc spray. So talc spray is similar to talc, but with this, you've got this little nozzle in through here and you can just push down the pump and get some of the product in. You can also go a little bit closer into the scalp like this. You get those instant results and that added texture. So you wanna make sure that you're getting all of the hair, especially even into the sides over here, because that's what's gonna help create that texture and that livability. Because if you're not getting the sides or the back even, it's not gonna look finished. And you wanna add some pieciness to the, the whole style as well. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this down into here, right? That's the whole point of the faux hawk is that it will transition and work its way going flatter into the highest point right down the middle. And we're just gonna simply mold this into shape like this by pushing this down and lifting this up. Again, it's all an illusion. And you can do it by your hands right into here as you can see. And now all we're doing is just simply molding the shape in and creating our finished look. And I think this hair style looks great on Men, it looks great on women, but I just want to showcase this so that women could feel more confident to have, you know, shorter hair. This is a very dry, matte look, as you can see, which looks really, really awesome, okay? I think it looks great. See this side and through here, very nice. Now, if you want to add a little more of a wet look, I guess, or not really wet, but a little more like it's got product in it and not so matte, uh, this is where I'm going to recommend uh, pregame right in through here. And pregame really is an amazing product that transforms what its styling properties over time. So this is great if you're looking for more of a polished look, something not so matte. I mean, this is still matte, but a powder sometimes makes it look like there's nothing in the hair, okay? So what I'm doing is I took a nice little scoop and I'm working it through. And with this product, you wanna make sure that you're really working it through fully. You don't need a whole lot of product, especially when the hair is a bit shorter but you're gonna get really maximum hold with this and then over time it transforms to where the product will then um, fully dry and become matte and then it'll expand its shape and you'll get almost like double the volume because 
once it dries, it then fully expands. So it transforms into a fully different type of product. So as you can see, we're getting a different type of reaction now. It's got firm hold. It's going right into shape. We're able to sculpt this down into here and it's now much more pliable than before, okay? So again, the whole look is to really focus on this. You could even do one of these if you want to. You can take your hands and literally create almost like a, tr uh, a point on the t right down the middle, you know? There you go. Show the side view right through here. Again, a similar type look, but what we've done is, and make sure you get product down through here too, because you can actually add some little bit of textured pieces in through here, which I think looks really, really cool. So don't be afraid to, you know, twist it, to play around with it, to mold the shape. But as you can see what this product has done, it's just polished off the look a bit more, all right, which I think looks really, really nice. And use a mirror. If you have a mirror, go in there and use another, you know, look, look with the mirror behind you so you can see the look. But ladies and gentlemen, here we have the finished result. All right, YouTube, I hope you guys found this video helpful and that uh, you learned something. And let me know in the comments below if you did and if you liked this haircut. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also click the bell so you're notified of when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for more videos with the Slonda.